Today I'm at the Blacksmith Lounge in Hugo, Minnesota for a vintage snowmobile show. Come along and take a look at all these wonderful snowmobiles. It's a 1965 Skidoo Chalet. Nineteen sixty seven Skidoo Olympic. This is a 1968 Skidoo Super Olympic. Nineteen sixty nine Scorpion Mark One. Nineteen sixty eight Articat Cougar. This is a 1970 Scorpion Stinger. Scorpion Stinger. The 1971 Articat 440 EXT. Thank you. 
It's a 1973 Johnson ski horse. The Johnson Johnson. Do you have fun running around on it? I can't do Polaris TX340. Johnson ski horse. It's pretty fancy looking. State of the art technology, all the controls. Nineteen seventy four Arctic Cat El Tigre. Beer snowmobile, Speedway Black Label, 1973. <laughs> <laughs> Getting the branch sticking over and we're just like, <laughs> really <laughs> just small. Really? Just you know, that's the thing I'm talking about. 1978 Polaris. Heard a cat.
1979 Yamaha Enticer. Nineteen seventy eight Yamaha Enticer four forty. <laughs> Polaris, yours, yours? Yeah, awesome. Owner of a 1979 Polaris. Can you tell me anything about the snowmobile? Um, it's fun to ride. Yeah, yeah, good times. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't ride as much. We put eight miles on it last weekend at, at the ride in, Midwest ride in. Yeah. I haven't had it out in probably two years. So All right. it's that, but yeah, it's, I grew up in you know, over there. Yeah, yeah. Riding Polaris, of course. So. And I had a 76 CX. All from high school and stuff, and then this one came up. And, uh huh. And really getting back in the business. You know, so. I can I can relate. Like for me, I'm a Rupp snowmobile person, because when I was a kid, at age 11, my dad got two new Rupp 19. What are they? 14. 440s nitros or something like that mm -hmm. and i'm like oh that was like great and then my mom and dad got divorced right about that time and I, so i longed to have those and at the time i remember it was like state of the art to me it was like this was really impressive i thought this the exhaust smelled like cotton candy it was just like sweet and wonderful so i'm like i come here and i'm looking for for that but yeah if i were to get a mm -hmm. snowmobile that would be like the one for an antique snowmobile anyway that's that i'd seek out my dad's tx 76 tx yeah yeah i'm actually building a new Awesome. A lot of work, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, good. All right, thank you. Supersonic Moto Ski. Bombardier. Unsure about the year, but it's in the 1970s. Nineteen sixty-eight Skidoo. Oh, good thing I These are the original condition, not restored condition. This one's quite the setup where I'm ready to go ice fishing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so this is a Skidoo Alpine 1969 single ski. There's a different look. Nineteen sixty seven Polaris Colt. It's got 1965 Polaris Snow Traveler. <laughs> Cat Panther. Mm -hmm. Nineteen sixty nine. Okay, original. This is probably the next watch. Scorpion Mark II, no year indicated. Got the racing stripe ready to race. We'll just go out here, cross the road, ride right the ditch, uh, one mile, and then cross back and come back up the other side. Pretty sharp. <laughs> Snowjet 190E. As an Edward. Oh, yeah, they have So, 1969. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 1969 Scorpion Mark Nineteen seventy one Skidoo Olympic. It's like Olympic rather than Olympic. Q U E. Nineteen seventy one Ridge Runner. Amazing snow machine. 
It's like a little miniature car, like a little mini. Yeah. <laughs> Got the dual headlights, the fancy girl. <laughs> and like a bicycle steering wheel apparatus. I don't quite know how that works. I guess you probably they probably spin to the left and spin to the right. One, I don't know <laughs> how that works. Maybe we'll catch it in motion. Raider 400. 1972. Another different looking snowmobile. I like the upholstery though. I like white. Seems to be missing the engine. I found the engine. It's just like the new C8 Corvette. It's like, I was gonna say mid engine, but it's a rear engine, more like a VW. It's pretty cool. Chaparral. Nineteen seventy one Chaparral. Hey Kim. <laughs> Original sixty nine or older. Check out the business area. Panther 440. It's a 1972 Articat Panther. Ski horse. I like the color scheme. All right, 1971 Johnson Ski Horse. Has a, I mean, this is where the C4 headlights came from, the pop-up headlights. <laughs> They're based off of a Johnson Ski Horse, perhaps. Firebird, Chaparral. It's a 1971 Skidoo Olympique. <laughs> Yamaha. All right, this one's interesting. This ought to keep you warm on the trail. Yep. 1972 SR433 Yamaha. All right, Polaris, 1972 ATX 335. 
Actually, like when I look at it, it looks older than 1972. Yeah, I like know the, it does. Like the design, it's kind of really, kind of retro. It's kind of like it looks, far out because it looks like a face. Like it looks 50s. <laughs> like you got two eyes. You got it kind of, kind of like a little bit of a mouth. It's like smiling at me right now. It likes me a lot. Patriotic theme. Got the red. Got the white. Got the blue. Arctic cat puma. No rear lights. Drive it in the daytime. Nineteen seventy. No front lights either. <laughs> nope. Nineteen seventy one Articat Lynx two ninety two. Like the yellow light, yellow windscreen. Polaris. Nineteen seventy two Polaris ATX five hundred. So it's another one that smiles at you. It's got the eyes, it's got the mouth. I guess the uh, Engine is the uh, nose, maybe. It's like a big nose sticking out. <laughs> like a, th a, three, a three nose. So it's ATX 500 Polaris 72. And another ATX Polaris. This is a 1972 ATX 500. So it's like two 1972 ATX 500s in a row. This one's got the custom paint job. How Christmassy. I know. And here we got a bunch of green snowmobiles. Coleman. Key Rule, division of the Coleman Company Incorporated. I think we're just gonna do a walkthrough on this one. There's like a few too many of them to look at everyone closely. This one's got some information, so. Ski Rule RT500 1970 era. It's tough due to all the development and stuff. So Ski uh, Rule RTX. They got more trails on there than ever. And they do a lot better job of maintaining it. 1970 Ski Rule SE300. 
Let's go take a look at the backsides of all these. This one's got everything pretty much enclosed out of the way. The rest have the open engine exposed. Various types of upholstery. Socks, motor. All right, so this was the last ski roll. It was the SE 300, 1970. Here we go, Matt. This is the, the Rups. We're into the Rup snowmobile now. We got one, All our right. first Rup. 1970 Rup. This is my family snowmobile as a child, except I, we had a little bit newer ones. More about 76, 77 Rup. Got the green belt theme going on. Another Sox motor, just like the ski rules. It says Sprint 29 on it. All right. Another ski do. Unstated year. It does say on there. It said 3.99. Well, it says Olymp Olympic. It's a ski do Olympic. It says 3.99. Another Skidoo Olympique. All right, this one was snowmobile challenged. <coughs> not marked, not sure what it is. So here it's an Arctic Cat Panther. Arctic Cat Panther. Last snowmobile I rode was a Yamaha. Another antique snowmobile, original shape. Got some venting area there where you can store your gloves in that little hole. That is the original uh, dirt that came with it when it was manufactured, straight from the factory. All right, if you know what the snowmobile is, make sure to put it in the comments what year and model of snowmobile this one is. 1971 Articat Puma 440. Gee whiz, it's a Ski Whiz Massey Ferguson snowmobile. This is like the tractor of the snowmobile world right here.
This one gets serviced at the Oatana Farm Center, Massey Ferguson Service and Sales in Oatana. That's where you go for service. Articat Panther, $3.99. When I was a kid, there was Skidoo's, Articats, and Rupp snowmobiles. Those were the three that I knew. A little mix and match. We've got a Polaris trail rider for the kids in back. Original 1973 through 75. This is a Speedway 340, 1973. 1973 Articat El Tigre, 440. Take a look what was going on in 1973. Got a shiny tank. That's not a dumb idea. That's a nice car. Here we have an Articat Panther. Nineteen seventy-three. <laughs> Suzuki 1975 XR 400. I will say I was not aware that Suzuki made snowmobiles. Look, it's the sp special Spirit of 76. Moto Ski 340 Zephyr. It's 1973. It says Moto Ski Capri. That's interesting. So the front has the word Zephyr on it. Dash card says Capri. Articat Lynx. Oh, that's for it. I'm going to roll through the motors. 1974 Yamaha. Big no way. Baby 
where they come from around, you guys. Skidoo Olympian 1973. Oh, Olympique, not Olympian. Olympique, sorry. I don't know what the difference is. Olympique. Skidoo. So I don't know what the difference is. Bombardier 340E. Double Eagle Raider. Nineteen seventy four. Interesting. Kind of a cool seat, a laid back position. You got the backrest support. That's got to be great. Plenty of room to stick your legs up out of the wind and cold. Engine in the back. All right. The motorboat snowmobile, Evinrude. I like it, like the blue and white and red I don't combo. Know. This one was. Looks to be in excellent shape. 1974, Evinrude Quiet Fight Flight. I can't read. Well, I actually I can read. It does say Quiet Fight rather than Flight. So it's a Quiet Flight Evinrude. If you're going to be driving a snowmobile across open water, I guess this is the one that you would choose. Because <laughs> it's made by Evinrude, maybe it'll float. <laughs> if you go fast enough anyway and have wide enough skis, it looks like pretty wide skis on there. I think you could maybe float a little bit. Got grab bars on the side. I rather like this one. Even though it's not a Rupp snowmobile, it's pretty awesome. Almost fell in a pit of snow. John Deere 400, 1974. Green and yellow. What do we think about this one? Like the seat is kind of like yellowy green rather than bright yellow. Or so it's the logo. Lie, I didn't think it was that much of a difference until I worked with some people that have like T shirts and then I'm like the grades? It would just the condensation in the gauges. Like, I hope that the next road they stop. <laughs> we got a Johnson ski horse. We saw one of those earlier. Here's all your controls on the Johnson Ski Horse. This is a 1973. Nineteen seventy three Arctic Hat Panther forty four or four forty. Whoever fills out the window cards was having some issues writing perhaps, but uh, it's cold out, so I totally get it. So Panther four forty. Same guy Yeah, this is it right here. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah, like yeah. Articat Panther 340, 1973. And another Articat Panther, 1973. Also a 340. 
A little bit different upholstery on the seat. That's kind of weird. So these are both Articat Panther 1973, but the rear lighting is totally different on them. Those two Panthers have the same rear end, but this one is different. Very interesting. That's where the go juice goes. A little bit of it looks like it's splashed out occasionally. You know? Maybe it's a common thing. Maybe the seals aren't all that great on the gas caps. All three have a little bit of gasoline residue around the cap. All right. Covered that row. We've got another row of snowmobiles coming up. All right, these are the original 1976 through 1988 snowmobiles. Articat Panther 1979. Purple and black. Got a cool little seat to rise up for the passenger. History of the cats. I really like the color scheme on this one, the purple and black. We've got some noise going on. Let's take a look what we got going on. Skidoo GSX. Giving some rides. Sounds in a remarkably good shape for a 1979 snowmobile. One more time, last time. The Yamaha Enticer 1983. 300. Got some narrow skis on it. <laughs> Got a tether switch. I'm familiar with the tether switch. I once got fucked off my snowmobile as a kid. The tether switch came out. The snowmobile went up and down, up and down a little bit through some hills and eventually came to a stop because the tether switch was pulled. 1978 Articat Jag or Jaguar. Did you drive it here? Uh, no, I tailored it, but I was letting people take it around the field. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> hey, you want to go ahead? Oh, uh, no, I don't. The last thing I want to do is wreck somebody else's like vintage sled. Polaris SS 1983 My grandpa's I did a 2 year wrestler on it. Really? Yeah. I put two with the KCM Racing. So it's a Skidoo Blizzard 1978. 340 series. Got some good shocks on there. Number 57. There's the uh, instructions. Go to beat hell, turn left a lot, don't shit in a snowsuit. KCM Racing. Articat Cheetah 400.
All right, back here we go back to the row of snowmobiles. Yamaha Exciter 440. Nineteen eighty. Get in on the registration because then you get the stickers. Nineteen seventy-eight Yamaha three hundred and forty Enticer. It's a little smaller engine than the four hundred and forty. Nineteen eighty Yamaha SRX four forty black and gold. This is a good looking snowmobile. I like the color scheme. Kawasaki Interceptor 550. 550. Power, power, power at the Metrodome. 1982 Kawasaki Interceptor 550. Good profile, I like the design. Modern looking gauges. And another Kawasaki. Very similar. Come on, here and get the fever. It's a 1980, so two years older, or aunt, 1980 and I saw versus 82. I went in, I went in and he had to write on the bill. It's a 340 like a Invader. <laughs> and a John Deere Spitfire, 1978. Small looking snowmobile for smaller people, maybe for kids, teenagers. Yeah, it's 10 too, I think. Alright. Articat El Tigre 5000. 1977. That cool looking helmet. Next up, Kawasaki Invader. 1981. It's a 440 Kawasaki Invader. Brute. 
T-R-U-T Brute. Scorpion. Three cylinder lay down motor, 1976. A little grooming of the trail. So 1976 Brute Scorpion. All the way from Cocado, Minnesota. The tag here. Scorpion Inc. out of Crosby, Minnesota. Manufactured Scorpion Inc. Crosby, Minnesota. 56441. Got a couple LT grays coming up. Articot LT grays. year on these one is unmarked unregistered snowmobile not entered into the show officially perhaps I think I like the this Articat LT gray front end better 6,000 what do you think that front end or that front end, what is your preference? Make sure to comment below which Articat LT Gray in this category that you like best. Walk around here, take a look at the back side. Different gauge layouts. It's the other LT gray. Back. seating capacity is one person. They want to make sure that you know that, that you don't forget out there on the trail that you're only supposed to have one person. Can't bring your girlfriend or boyfriend with you. Just you. 1979 Scorpion Whip. Sun's coming back out, making things kind of shadowy. Let's get to the side, get a little bit more light on the snowmobile. Nice exhaust, custom exhaust. Held together by tape and a prayer. <laughs> That's what keeps it running. Gotta have faith. Good, good experience with your tools to keep her running. Do whatever it takes. That's what I say. This is a uh, Evinrude Motors, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Model E252. Can't make out the last digit. Maybe it's N. Skidoo Olympique. you vote for my sled. 50-50. It's not good. <laughs> it ran. This is the one. Yeah. 
Oh, there's layers to be had. Uh, oh, Articat 5000. Because, you know, how high do I have to count? I have a jar of uh, moonshine. I'm not going in there. You can ask me all you want. We're not going in there. We got a knife. We got a knife. You know what I don't like about out here? It's not I like the look of this Yamaha. The gold. It looks like upscale. Like it's for like a luxury Yamaha for like people on a, with no budget. Got the gold. I mean, it's just the gold color. It's like riding a gold wing. Here, yeah, it's a gold wing of snowmobiles. <laughs> Except it's a Yamaha. We've got planes in the area. Uh oh. They look like probably little flies or mosquitoes to the GoPro. So we're recording all this on a GoPro 11. All right, so we got a 1986 Yamaha XL3. Pretty snazzy looking for its era, I'm sure. Starting a ride, it sounds like. SRV Yamaha. It's a 1983 SRV Yamaha. 1982 Yamaha SS440. And a John Deere 340 liquidator. 1976. Get on the good sunny side so you can see the color. No pony. <laughs> Got the Yamaha Snow Scoot. This is a uh, 1989, 1965 Little Andy. It's a Polaris Little Andy, and here's another 1965 Polaris Little Andy. I remember as a kid seeing the little small Arctic cat, kitty cat. These are pretty cool. I like these older ones. That one looks pretty high tech. The newer modern Yamaha. Snowmobile for every age. Stillwater Snowmobile Club established 1972. Riding for 50 years. This is the 1972 class. Moto Ski Capri. 292, Moto Ski Capri, 292. Uh, 
Harley Davidson, model 398, 1972. AMF, the bowling company, Harley Davidson. So, anyways, hey, like we're, we're automobiling. Who decided, hey, let's switch with one to one? Let's do it on yours, right? So, everybody's in front of me on mine. So, I'm behind them on this one. The Harley of snowmobiles. Polaris Colt 340 SS, 1972 Club, Cottage Grove Scramblers, I really like the color scheme on this one, this one's nice, white, blue and red, all these snowmobiles are pretty awesome in their own way, all comes down to personal preference, what you liked as a kid, what your parents used to have and what your cousins used to have, what you used to ride as a kid, probably is what you like as an adult. You know that Oh yeah. Or the cat. Lynx, 1972. 1972 Articat Cheetah, all original, 440. <laughs> and 1972 Skidoo, 640 TNT. Well, it says, was 640 TNT, it's now a 320. Scorpion Mark II trailer, 1971, nice leather job in there, sweet, Blue Max Speedway 440, and it says it's homemade. Speedway Cutter. Nice graphics. It's got a little extra weight in the middle area there. All right. A regular sled sled. 1969. Moto That was the pull behind cutter class. So these are just the pull behinds. There is no engine, there is no race in the Speedway Racer. Got a new class, 1989 and newer. These are going to be vintage snowmobiles in a period of time. Player is 600 HO Clean Fire, 2007. Moto Ski Pro RMK. <laughs> well, this Yama looks vintage already to me. It already is a, a classic. 1989, the Ovation. Hmm. Articat V-Force 3 by Moto Tessinari. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Nineteen ninety-eight. That's like an awesome looking sled. I like the flames and the This looks like a race snowmobile to me. It's like this thing is like already moving hundred miles an hour already. 
So Yamaha B-Max 4. 1992. Colorful graphics. You got electronic controls, grip warmer, low, high, and off, starter. You got the headlight on and off. Look at them shocks. Decked out skis. You can't have sharper looking skis than that. <laughs> got the got the pink going on the underside. Some plastic skids on there. Tie in with the color scheme of the graphics. Yeah, Articat Triple Touring, Touring, Triple Touring, 600 ZRT, 2000. Like the graphics on this one too. Here's a true two-seater. Plenty of room for two people on this one. Place to stick your hands to hold on, keep them out of the wind. Nineteen ninety six RXL Polaris. Nineteen ninety eight Polaris XR six hundred. Nineteen ninety five Skidoo MX four seventy. Nineteen ninety seven Ski Do Mach Z Rotax eight hundred Ripple. Polaris Indy XCR. Nineteen ninety Yamaha Phaser. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also comment below on which snowmobile that you like best.